Hello, my name is Wally Carl. Nice to meet you. And welcome, back. Merry Christmas. It's not 24. It's not 25. When is Christmas? I I'm always confused when, when is Christmas, or is between 24 and 25. Like those two today's is Christmas. Do I care? I don't know. December is Christmas. That's okay. the point. Okay. No, that's that's why we are Santa. Yes. So today we're talking with the important people, Freddy. Okay, we already talked with Freddy, and you guys know I love Freddy already. So we enter in first the square block right there. That is not the same in which we went for the trial, right? Because the other one was kind of in in a away place, or or it was here. I don't remember. But I want to enter there first because I got a feeling Tita is there. And we love Tita. Hanga. Please tell me Tita is here. I don't even know if Tita is gonna be a talkative person right now. Oh, Soldans. Oh, the professor. I see. So the Panzer Soldans hangar is part of the research building. Oh, there is Volimar. Poor Volimar. I see Professor Scormendit and Volimar at the far end. Then line up along the wall are. Whoa! <gasps> Girl voice, Tita, right? She fell. Tita. A Tita! Oh, I made a mess. Are you okay? Oh, wait, you are. We love her. I, I love that she's she's still clumsy as, she wa as how she was in the sky. Structure Swazer. Thank you so much for helping me, me pick up everything up. I got like something. <laughs> Don't mention it. We haven't talked since we met on the train, have we? Oh, you're right. I'm Tita Russell. Um, my name's Tita Russell. I'm in class 9, military finance. Why you didn't enjoy class 7? Nice to meet you again, Instructor Schwarzer. Likewise, ring why, why you're not talking to help navigate us through the keep the other day, right? Oh, I'm sorry you all had to be dropped into a place like that. No need to apologize, that was the professor's fault. You have been here two weeks now. Are you getting used to life in Arabonia yet? Yes, very much so. Are my classmates are so nice too. Right now I'm preparing the Panzer Soldans for the training exercises. Oh, is that so? Well, thanks for working on that so soon. I know she did have a little soldant that didn't look like that on Sky the Third. Oh, it's no problem at all. I've been looking forward to seeing the Empire's famous humanoid weapons. And now that I can finally get a good look at them, I'm blown away by how amazing the technology is. ZCF was also researching bipedal mechanicary, but the soldat design philosophy is so different, it's really eye-opening. Stands for Zay Central Factory, right? It's a famous workshop in Liber, if I recall correctly. I remember you're from Liber, but you're related. Oh, yeah, yeah, she is her mother. Her, more her mother, like her mother is kind of cuckoo. <laughs> you could say that, yes. It's because I'm involved with them that I was able to become an exchange student here. Involved with them, if that's how you want to put it. How much longer will I need to wait for my blueprints and tools? Oh, sorry. What did you say before? What do you mean by that, Professor Squid? Just that the responsibility of looking after her was forced on me by one of my fellow disciples. Wait, fellow disciples? That means... I knew that name Russell sounded familiar. <laughs> That's right, Professor Russell is my grandfather, but I'm still just an apprentice myself. 
<laughs> well, let's see. Let's use this opportunity to see your ability to improve. Huh? Swazer, do you have the sepith you got from the operation test the other day? Give it to this girl and have her make a quartz with it. Huh? That sounds good then. Don't you think she needs to get ready first? It's okay, I got it. As a technician, I need to have these kind of support skills. Are you sure? Then here you go. Yes, of course. <laughs> He's smiling. She's gonna be our George. Make any course at workshop. You can use the workshop by talking to Tita and selecting modify orbit. Uh, modify I'll orbit. Help. Oh my god. You're gonna help. Okay, now I've Lecrest is for defense, but I think somebody already did. Uh, wait, ah, uh, uh, wait, I'm poor on Sepith. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna do Lecrest, but I'm like 120, I'm just go 52. I'm like, oh, never mind. Uh, Shield Breaker. Mm. Holy Breath. Do we have Holy Breath? No, we don't have Holy Breath. Hmm. Okay, what, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, I really need to think. Hmm. This could be useful. You know? I mean, 30% is something. Uh, Fortuna. Cast. Action. Oh, increase speed is useful too. Strike. At, mm, I don't want to attack. Rest all restores 20 p course that down. It, it say all, not just one person. I'm gonna take this one. Yes. Ah, I can do more. Okay, I can do more. Okay, okay, guys, wait. Need to do more. Um. So give me. Evasion, nope. Action, yeah. And. Yeah, so we don't miss. Analyze. Uh, EP. Mm. That will be useful for our magician, wherever we get that person. I don't know who will be the ah ah ah. I could see oh oh. I didn't oh never Thanks. mind. Well, I already did stuff. Yes, Instructor Rain. Thanks. The way she acts reminds me of George. Hey, <laughs> so I say that. <laughs> Looks like only the bare minimum of preparation have been complete. Enough time has been wasted on useless talk. Get back to maintenance work, disciple candidate. Yes. Goodbye now. Yeah, goodbye. Oh. Professor A. Russell, like Professor Squibbent, is one of Professor Epstein's three disciples. I had heard the name before, but she's his granddaughter, huh? Professor Squibbent disciple candidate, huh? She gonna have a hard time. I don't think so, he was smiling. You know. Anyway, we have four of the Palat Spencer soldats, Mother Hill. While I'm here, I gotta go talk to Valimar. Ah, we came here to talk to Valimar. Well, at least we talked to Tita. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can use the matter to customize your weapon and quartz. Oh, to evolve them. Alright. Exchange. Alright. Let's see. Orbit. Me. No, or quartz. I just got one open. Heat up will be useful. You don't have anything open. I need to open you guys, but I suppose when we are all together. Professor? The disciple candidate is in, in charge of all the busy work within the hangar. She's actually quite physically strong as well, so direct all your men menial tasks toward her. She used a cannon. Uh, I talked to her for for the shop, right? 
You need anything? Okay. Thanks, Tita. Valimar! Rin. Are classes done for the day? Yeah, somehow. My students all have their quirks, but I guess they just make technique in all the more fun. I'm glad to hear it. But please be sure you are able to rest. It will be a waste if you push yourself to the point of exhaustion. Got it. I'll be sure to get some rest in. Thanks, Valimar. By the way, Mr. Candida Tita is overworking herself. For some time now, she's been handling all the maintenance around here herself. She's likely to exalt herself if she continues like this. Tell me Valimar and Tita are gonna be friends. N don't tell me. I'm wishing that. It would be nice to have another Maester candidate help her out. I see. I keep that in mind. Huh. Do I look for that person or something? Or no? No? Okay. There is nothing more here, I guess. This is a shop. Up here, what we got? Photo? Is there a photo of something? No? Tea? Somebody got one tea? Nobody want tea? Rin... What's up with Rin? Wait. Wait, 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 guys, 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 wait. L let me see if I can do this. Why Rin eyes are closed? What do you think you are? Oh, oh my god, Rin. The hell? <laughs> Rin? <laughs> oh, I broke Rin. <laughs> Alright. I mean, they were thinking to do a writing thing. Hmm. Can I enter here? I don't think so. So the other people, I guess, were inside. So let's go to the cafeteria. Hello. It's nice to see you, Instructor Rain. You are Gina, right? Thank you for always making food for everyone. Your family runs a tavern in Levis, right? Yes, I'm, I'm Barney's daughter. I saw some help wanted ads, so I decided to come help. Everyone is so nice, I'm having a great time here. I'm glad to hear it. Structuring, I see you around here a lot during lunch time, but... What do you do for dinner? They make food at the dorms. If I can make it in time, I have that. But if I'm late, I'll cook something for myself. I see, you can cook too, huh? Well, I never cooked. Neither in Cold Steel 1, neither, neither... What? No, yeah, I did cook. Yeah, I did cook. But all the food that was in my inventory was from the DLC download. <laughs> but I did cook. So it can be troublesome at times. I always end up making the same thing. That's not good in terms of nutritional balance. I know. Would you like this? Rin obtain a receipt book. These are receipts for the food that the cafeteria recommends. Potato. Ingredients too? Th thank you. You didn't have to do all this. It's no problem. I know you're gonna go through a lot of battle and you're gonna need a, a lot of resources to survive and not die because you're in hard mode. Where would this school be without its instructor? <laughs> Plus, it would make me really happy if you got inspired to cook more. Understood. I do my best. I, I mean, we're doing most of the things we can do on this game, so... And, we, uh, and we're really going slowly. Like, like, don't mind me. See it? Have a cup of tea? And be with me. Alright. I know we talk with everybody. Oh, pool training ground. We... Ah, we were here already, right? Let me enter. Oh, yeah, the bathrooms that we cannot get to the shower. And that's not fun. It's not that I want to see somebody naked, but... It's like you got showers. You could use that as a recovering point. That's what I'm saying. Alright, nobody necessary to talk here. Let's go up. Clubhouse. Door. Okay. Nothing. Altina was on the on the on the on the roof, right? I talked to you already, so I'm not talking to you a second time. 
You don't deserve my attention. There's a dog barking in the background. Don't mind him. I mean, I could stop and stop him to bark, but he's not barking too strong. And it's like, it's like atmosphere background sound. So more natural. Altina! Altina, what are you doing here? I thought you went right back to the dorm after class. Why are you here alone? Regarding tomorrow mission during the free time. I have researched a progress block on my investigation. Huh? Are you talking about she's in a club? Hmm. I attempt to refer documents in the library on the matter. However, that only proved to increase the possible choices. Instructor Rim, please tell me what to choose. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, now that they're barking too strong. Sorry, Altina, I can't. Because only you can figure out what you want to do. Me? Let's make this homework. You got all day tomorrow to decide too. You can ask other students their opinions if you need to. I can give you advice too, of course. But in the end, you need to decide on your own. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I do not understand the purpose, but if this is an order, then so be it. I will excuse myself. <laughs> God, I love her. Altina, hey! <laughs> oh my god. Was she pointing just now? I hope no one in town spot her riding that thing. Oh well, I guess I head back too. Ah, uh, you should tell her to join Tita. There is somebody floating around here. Ah, it's her. Okay. I entered those these buildings, right? Cafeteria again. Ah, yeah, the up. Okay, and the other one. What? What? What it is? What are you? What is this place? Clubhouse. But the third floor. Oh, this girl. Hi. Okay, we don't have anything to talk. Let's go to the main building. I guess we needed to talk with the principal. Yeah, I think she's the one left. Ah, no, Towa. Oh, Towa. Let me see something. Equipment. Custom. No. Oh, no, I need to. Okay. Hello. Alright, hold on here. What are you up here, Towa? Oh, I'm just doing a routine check on our school supplies don't have a clerk so I just take care of it on the weekends all by yourself she's just as capable as ever sorry I didn't even release let me help you no re no stop stop forcing me moving you things you want to do you need to ask me if I want to move you to help help it's fine I'm already about half done Seems like we got all the supplies we could ask for, but nowhere near enough manpower. True, we don't even have anyone in charge of the nurse's office. Between the upcoming Panzer Soldan training and the special lessons, we're definitely going to need someone on call. I suppose we'll just have to take turns for the time being. I know a little bit of first aid, but... Well, don't push yourself too much. And if there's anything I can help you with, just let me know, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Rin. Oh, there is something I could use your help with, come to think of it. Here. Military Academy Student Notebook. Oh, are these the students' notebook for class 7? Oh, yeah, they were just finished today. Sorry it took so long. Could I get you to hand this out? Yeah, of course. Out of curiosity, why did class 7 notebook take so long? I thought Mayor Michael was supposed to be in charge of preparing this. Well, I asked him about that and... The upcoming special lessons need to be different for each class. So each class has a slightly different notebook. 
Class 7 notebook were just pushed back because it has the least people in it. I see. Well, I go hand this out. What are these special lessons all about? <laughs> Sorry for adding to your workload. No, you are used to do that. No, as their homeroom teacher, I'm the one who's supposed to pass this out. Well, Sarah made you pass this out. It's not because you're the homeroom, it's because you're Rin. <laughs> Actually, this takes me back to when we were students. You're right, this is kind of nostalgic. Well, thanks for your help, Rin. Just leave it to me. Let's say, those three seem especially busy today. Not to mention Altina already gone back home. Oh well, I'll just come back later. Uh, oops. I already talked to you. I think the principal is down, down, down. This is my... Is this my classroom? Oh, this is our classroom. Look at us. Such important people we are. Hello, good morning. I'm your French. Okay, I don't know. I don't know French. And I don't even know how to do a French accent, so I won't try it. Principal, we need to talk to you. Where is she? She was here. I think she was here. No. She was here then. What is this? Library. No. Ah. In the red dot. Hello, mom. It's almost time to call it a day. I trust things went smoothly for you today. Looks like you have a good grasp on this whole teaching thing. <laughs> no, I won't say that. Every day I'm reminded of just how much more I have left to learn. Just like the students, I have to keep learning and improving myself all the time. Oh, so humble. You look like you want to say something though. There's no need to hold back on my account. I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. The golden rack shot herself here. Do you find it funny too? Seeing me in such a mundane place as this after everything I done. To be honest, I've been feeling weaker ever since we lost the civil war. Thought I was still somehow able to accomplish my role last autumn. The Northern War. Uh, the, oh! Our invasion of the autonomous state just north of the Empire, North Embria. It was a war of retaliation against the Northern Jaegers, who were based there. We were all called upon by the government, you were there too, if I recall. Yes, so Valimar and I weren't put on the front lines. Honestly, I don't think we could even call what happened there a war. Juan Brigadier General Wellens commanded the provincial army equipped with the most advanced panzer soldiers available. The assault in conjunction with tank eunuch was relentless. And North Ambria followed the same fate as Crossbell. Same, but not quite. It would be more accurate to say it was driven to the same fate by our dear Chancellor Design. In any event, the battle was a good turning point for me. The provincial army was falling apart after the civil war, but thanks to the Northern campaign, we were able to salvage it. As the countless of my family, I had planned to leave the army to Wallens, find myself a husband, and papa to- Oh, 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 oh. But then, for some reason, I was called to be principal here. Fate is an intriguing thing indeed. For some reason, huh? Heh, <laughs> in any event, tomorrow will be our school first free day. Relax and stretch your legs a bit, but be sure to help our students out with their club decisions. Right, understood. Oh, and as I say, those students who don't join a club tomorrow will be forced into the students' council. If there end up being too many, I'm putting you in charge of them all. 
I do my best to avoid that happening. Ooh. Oh, guess it's about time to leave campus. If I got nothing else to do, I suppose I could head back to the dorm. Once you're finished with your after school patrols, you can return to the dorm from the main gate. Oh, is something gonna happen when we're gonna walk? Do we walk or do we don't walk? Do we walk or we don't walk? Do we walk? I mean, normally we walk and then something happens, like a scene, and, there, and then it's gonna be the free day, normally on the coastal sections, ways. So I'm gonna end up here, and tomorrow, or today, we walk to the dorms. I will do it today, but I will end up this episode here. Because we did the stuff here, so other things were gonna happen there. And maybe we do, if there are quests of free day, we can do the quest of free day and all that thing. Already saved. I want to say bye to Freddy. I'm glad you get it, Structure Swager. The wonderful world of fine insect cushion welcome you with open limbs, all six of them. Did I just make a big mistake? Uh, 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 you... Wait, he got like... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, don't move. You got like a cool necklace. Two, two necklaces, I think. Don't move. Stop moving. I want to see you. Can I? Can I? No. Okay. Freddy. Stop. Freddy. Yeah, he got like two necklaces. He got a knife. Okay. Yeah, yeah, two necklaces. Yeah. That's kinda pink feather with white, but how many feathers? Three, three feet, okay. I got a green shirt, but I'm gonna need the Thor's blue jacket now. I'm like, I want to be Freddy, <laughs> but I don't have his hair. Uh, my hair is not even white. And his socks, well, I mean, yeah, his shoes and socks is easy. I mean, nobody looks at my feet. And a camo, okay, 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 pretty. Do we have something here? No, no, okay. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. If you guys want. I don't know. I lose myself in this city now.